my brothers, I know physically it's a facade. Mentally, you're tired. And emotionally, you're empty. But I encourage you to never give up. When the usual motivators such as family, friends, and career no longer inspire us to engage with life, it's crucial that we refocus on the primary reason we are here, and that is to fulfill Yah's purpose for our lives while bringing Him glory. Life gets real for all of us, and like you, there are many of days when I want to give up, but I choose to not allow my past trauma and present life to tap me out. Instead, I clench and hold on until I regain proper position to move forward. I'm going to share with you three strategies I use to steady my soul during challenging times so that I can stay aligned with Yah's plan for my life. Number one, accept who you are, but always, and I say always, be willing to change for the better. Start by shedding the facade, take off the mask, and confront the lies by reducing the energy you use to appear okay when you're not. Accept where you are without judgment or self-condemnation. When you do this, it can drastically lighten the load of pretense and help you forge through days and finish the task Yahushua gave you instead of giving up. For it is written, um, Acts 20:24. 20, I consider my life nothing or worth nothing to me. But my only aim is to finish the race and complete the ministry which I received from Yahushua to testify the gospel of grace given by Yah. Number two, seek professional support. I can't tell you how invaluable this is. Dealing with mental exhaustion alone is very daunting which often has pushed many men to the edge in life. For me, seeking out biblically-based psychotherapy or counseling has helped me gain insight into why I am where I am. These professionals can assist you in helping you understand the roots of your struggles and developing healthy and effective strategies to empower you to live fully in alignment with Yah's plan for your life. For it is written in Proverbs 11:14, where there is no counsel, the people fall. But the multitude of counselors, I'm sorry, but where there's a multitude of counselors, there is victory. And number three, Cultivate emotional stability. Address the feelings of emotional emptiness. Stop suppressing them. It's essential to engage in these practices so that you can refill your emotional tank. Stop running on empty. For me, this starts with prayer and shalak meditation which you can learn more about in my book, Battle Cry, or visit my YouTube channel. Then, of course, hobbies. I love playing the guitar, and I have to get back doing it. Or you can try other activities like maybe basketball, chess, bowling, painting. Whatever it is that you personally enjoy, start doing it. Additionally, and very important, build camaraderie with the strong, supportive community of men of Yah who can help you restore a sense of belonging and purpose. Remember this verse, 
Ecclesiastes 4.12 One man standing alone can be attacked and defeated, but two can stand back to back and conquer. Three are even better for a triple braided cord is not easily broken. I pray this will encourage you to keep fighting. Never let life tap you out. Clinch until you regain the proper position to move forward. Shalom.